Okay, this is Mr. Maxwell, and this is about how to set up your online lab notebook. The next time I check your lab notebooks, I will not be asking for hard copies. I will be going online and looking for your lab notebook uh, as PDFs. And so I want to show you how I want you to set this up. Uh, in your Google Drive, you can click on this right here and create a new folder and I've already created mine and I want you to name it like this last name first name lab notebook and then AP 2013 and so I'm gonna click on this and then I'm gonna show you that I have in here um, I've scanned all my uh, all my lab documents and named them page 2 page 3 uh, there should be a page 4 in there page 5 um, and it would be okay to save these as JPEGs or it would be okay to save these as PDFs. I believe that either will work um, and you can scan JPEGs and PDFs from the main copier. Uh, you just have to set it on scan and it will and then tell it where to email it. So I created this document and to create a document you just go here and uh, you go create document so um, and I'd like you to name it specifically with your last name, your first name, and then contents, and then you can name it AP Lab 13 so this is for 2013. Um, if there's if there's a standard naming, I mean, if you just name it um, AP Bio Notebook, um, I'm gonna have a million ones labeled AP Bio Notebook, and I'm not gonna know whose it is. So um, I'd like you to follow these um, conventions for naming, so that uh, to make it easier for me to grade when it comes time. Um, you should also, um, and I forgot to mention this, but let's go back a level. You also should should take, and uh, now we're on the level where, uh, here's the folder. Um, you should go, and if you right click here or command click on the Mac, um, you can go to share, and you can set the sharing so that anyone with the link can, can view no access is, is required and then um, you're going to then give me this link and I'll show you where to put that later um, but anyway so now we got this we've we've made our document here and the document I made looks like this and you have your date your lab title and then pages and each one of these pages I put a link in so let's say that our next uh, our next uh, lab was done on 9-12, uh, and the title of that lab was uh, Transpiration. And then I'm going to go here, and um, I know that that is on pages uh, 5, 6, and 7. And so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to find my page 6 and I'm going to go to share I'm gonna get the the link then I'm gonna go back to this and then I can right click here link and paste my link in there and apply now that's a live link and when someone goes to that uh, they'll be able to get to page 5 immediately so you're gonna have to recreate your table of contents uh, and keep it up to date uh, but that'll keep it nice and organized. Now, um, what you're going to want to do then is you want to take this link here. Uh, I'm going to go up a level here so that we're looking at um, we're looking at this, and you want to right-click, share, and get the link to that folder. And you should have you should have set sharing on this so that anybody with the link can share it and then you're gonna go to um, the AP Biology shared uh, folder that's not what I want shared folder and go to this class attendance paperwork lab and then uh, you're gonna go to uh, your class And let's put it right here. And notebook 
link. And my name's not on here, so I'm going to put uh, my name on here. Your name obviously would be here. And you want to put your link right there. And then whenever I go and click on this, I can go directly to your lab notebook. That'll take me to your lab notebook folder, and then I can see here everything I need to see. Okay, so uh, I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, you should be able to set your lab notebook up now and um, realize that the next time I collect these will be the next time you take a test. Um, so you won't have to hand them to me, but be, real, be sure that it's all completely up to date because I will take off for anything that's not completely up to date. The links need to be in, uh, needs to be well organized, um, and everything. So uh, that's it for that. Uh, good luck.